Hello and welcome. I made this visual with particle GPU and this is my result. I want to create a texture for the particles that I will explain. So, I start with SOP Sphere. You can make it polygon and change the frequency from the detail tab or change the rows and columns to create this shape. Add geometry, camera, light and render. Apply a line material to the geometry. Consider that at the end you need top texture for the particles, so create it however you want. Add SOP noise to create a movement on the shape. Okay now, from the palette go to tools and add particle GPU. This is the default one. I want to create a source for the particles. I prefer using a sphere. So add SOP sphere. Particle GPU needs a top as the source so we have to convert our sphere. First, add SOP to chop and the chop to top. Change the data format to RGB and connect it to the first input. Ok, now go to Material tab from Particle GPU. Change Material to Fong and Texture to Custom. Increase the size of particles. You can disable display boundaries. From Forces tab, turn all magnitudes all the way down. If needed, go to Line Material and change the line width or distances and colors.
I made some changes to the SOP noise to create a movement in which the shape disappears for a moment. Go to Particle GPU and decrease the birth and adjust the size of the particles. Go to the SOP that we created for the source and make it bigger. And increase rows and columns. Add bloom and ramp, and composite with multiply operation. Add feedback from palette image filters before the bloom. Adjust the blooms to get a shiny effect. Make some changes to the source texture like parameters of noise or the sphere. We have this shape in 3D space so you can move the camera inside of particle GPU component. This camera is available from the palette and has an option to move with mouse and keyboard that you can enable it.
change parameters to get a beautiful result. And this is it. See you.